Hi, David here of Lancaster Honda. Here we've got a 2016 66 plate Honda CRV. It's an EX model, so you get a few features on it, such as panoramic roof and your roof bars. So, what I'll be doing in this video is just showing you around the vehicle and showing you some of the features you get on an EX model. So, first place we'll start with is driver's rear wheel. So, you can see the alloy design, so it's diamond cut design in this one. And then we'll work around from here. So just down the side of the vehicle as well, you'll see bodywork's absolutely immaculate. And I'll give you the same shot from the other side, so it just confirms it a little bit. I'm not just giving you one angle because it's a favourable one for the vehicle. No, I'll just give you a bit of a close-up of the next alloy as well. So again, alloy is in very good condition. And then around the front, you do have parking sensors, so you've got Four parking sensors there, and you do also have the headlight washers there. Then just avoid the wall, a bit of shot around the front end, and then onto the passenger side front wheel. So you can see none of the alloys have had any wear and tear at all on them. Wing mirror caps all fine down there. Then again, down the side of the vehicle, no issues with the bodywork. And again, around the back end. No issues with the bodywork again. And there's the last of the wheels. So no wear and tear on any of those. So then onto features on the back. You've then got your parking sensors on the back as well to match the front. So you've got four of those. And you've also got reverse camera there. With it being an EX model as well, you do get electrically opening boots. So you just hold that one. And there you go, it pops open. So a nice little feature. And then inside, just cover the boot while we're here. So there's a few features inside. So you've got a pulley style load cover, so you can just pop it out of the way without removing it. You've then got a nice little basket on this side. You've got a hook each side of the boot. So there's one there, one on the other side. On this side though, you do get a 12 volt power outlet in the boot. And you get a little strap if you want to keep some sort of like bottle there and a little area to hook it down into the floor. Then underneath the boot floor as well, you've got a nice spare wheel and jack there. Just pop the boot down and then these little handles here the way they work you just pull those down and the seat folds forwards so just give it a second and there we go and then as you can see there's not much of a lip at all into the, the back there so you've also got a little button to close the boot so just press that and i'll just show you what it's like in the rear helps if i open the vehicle i forgot i just used the boot button there we are so the way this folds so flat is because the base actually folds forwards and out the way. And to reverse that, it's really easy. You just lift that up, pop the headrest back up, then the base clips straight back in. And you can also do it from this side. You just pull that little tab and you can see how neat it all sort of goes towards the floor there. So then straight back up again. So you can do it all with one hand. So if you do have kids, it's quite straightforward. And then you've also got a nice armrest in the middle with two cup holders in and a couple of climate vents in the back alongside a little storage area just behind each seat there <coughs> and if you've also noticed there are mats in this vehicle as well so just before we get too far on i'll just show you this here so to lock the vehicle if you've got the key in your pocket you just press that button vehicle's locked so if i try and open the back door now nothing happens and then if you just notice there's a little bit of black behind the handle there which you don't get on the rear door that's because that's the sensor if you've got the key in your pocket you're within sort of three feet of the vehicle you pop your hand behind the door you can see by the indicator light flashing it opens the vehicle so then when you get in again with it being an ex there is a feature on the door i'll show you in a second but first you've got electric folding wing mirrors with that one there electric windows all around and then you do have memory seats there You've also got fully electric seat adjustment as well. And then just as you get in, you've got an economy button. You've got all your vehicle assist, so your stability control and stability assist there. You've got your headlight washer button and your parking sensors. I'm just gonna shut the door, keep the cold out for a second. We'll just start the engine as well. So it is keyless entry and keyless ignition. So you just press that with the key in the vehicle. It all jumps into life. So I believe it will say it's due a service, but we do service and we make sure every vehicle's MOT before they ever go out. So as you can also see as well, mileage there is 37,496. So not very high for the, the age of vehicle. It's on about sort of 20,000 less than you'd expect for this age. I'll just turn off the aircon for now because it's a little bit loud. So 
So as far as the features in here go, you do have cruise control with a speed limiter on that side of the wheel. You've got all your sources to flip through everything on here, including all your audio. So you've got your source in the middle, you've got your volume up and down, then you've got maybe your track or your station you're on, the left and right buttons. And you've got that little one up there, scrolls through here. So that shows us radio one, shows us fuel consumption. And then I think there's one tells you if there's anything going on as far as uh, servicing goes, if you want to go a bit further into it. But normally most people leave the clock of the fuel consumption. And then you've got a little button there that says menu. And that'll show you some other vehicle info. You can also find your uh, tire inflation warnings on there. So if you want to reset that, that's through that menu button there. And then you've got trip computer just down here. So that's for the screen right in the middle there. So you can just press I to skip through different pages there. So you can see there's plenty to go through in your range and previous miles per gallon as well over the last 37,000 miles it does actually look quite reasonable there 48.4 miles per gallon so great mileage in this one then you've got your phone buttons down here so dedicated answering and ending a call button and then you've got your voice control button just down there then moving over to the main screen so you'll see straight away you do get sat nav in this vehicle I'll just show you the audio sources you can use so if we just tap that so you've got FM, long wave, medium wave, DAB, you've got CD, multiple USB inputs, so that'll be your USB, your iPod and your phone, all connected via USB. Then you've got HDMI and your Bluetooth. And then you've also got reverse camera, as I said before. So if you pop yourself in reverse, you've got a wide angle, standard view and a top down as well. But then last little bit on here is if you are wondering whereabouts the CD input is, you just press this button here, whole screen slides forwards, you just see it behind there then you can also tell you press the same button to close it so you just go in press that and it's all back to normal again so a really nice design there and just below that you'll find your sort of dedicated climate control settings so you just press it to go on you've got an auto button there i don't think we need both sides on high for now so we're just flipping down to 20 and if you don't want them on the same you just turn synchronize off and you can just adjust them independently then and if your eyesight's not great also see it on the upper screen up there a little bit clearer if it'll uh, focus there we go so i'll just turn that off again for now just keep it off and then just underneath you've got your manual gearbox so six speed and then with it being an ex again you've got your heated seats with high and low setting and auto stop start off button there you've got a 12 volt power out as well just behind there you've got a nice little storage spot something small like maybe a credit card there and a pen behind manual handbrake there and then you've got cup holders which are a little bit editable how you want them so you can just slide those bits out put them around then you've got a nice armrest which slides forward so if your seat's a bit further forward you can still adjust that and then underneath is where you'll find all your other connections so you've got another 12 volt power outlet two usbs and that's where your hdmi ports found and then last little thing to finish with i'll just show you the sunroof so i'll just hop out the vehicle Point the camera up, so as you can see there, there is a big cover there. All you've got to do, I believe it's forwards on that, and then it opens right up. You can let a bit of sunlight in. And again, same for reverse, you just pull it back, and there we go. So if there is anything I've missed with this vehicle, or maybe you'd like to come down and see it in person, just give us a call, and we'll see what we can do to help. Thanks, take care, bye.